Okay, I've asked this question, and how do I navigate between um, how do I navigate between um, the line between sort of researching medical uh, ben medical if I'm feeling physically or researching medical or practical tools for uh, an illness I'm suffering with. And I, I guess also useful is, you know, to what extent do I rely on a magical, uh, a magical tool? Like, uh, should I actually be, um, should I spend all day on the internet uh, researching stuff for my medical condition? Because there, there's this magical thing out there that will just instantly fix me, or should I just hand it over and just do the Course in Miracles? And the, 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 so there's a, Something that's very personal to me because medical, I mean, uh, sorry, yes, medical, I mean, kidney failure is a medical, <laughs> is a medical condition and asthma and, uh, and, uh, and gout are medical conditions. Um, so I've had my, I've had a good share of uh, health challenges um, and doing the Course of Miracles. Now, the thing with addiction, uh, the ego's idea is that something outside of myself can fix me, uh, not God. So, uh, and then as I get into, and I've had these phases where it'll be like, I just need to find this magic bullet thing, you know, magical medical cure, magical medical medicine, or magical, usually my thing is a ma magical medical, no, magical herb from the Amazon that only a few people have heard of in the middle of nowhere, that uh, if you take it, um, you pop the pill and then your kidney failure, your asthma and everything is just gone and you don't have to do any work. <laughs> And spend about you know twenty hours on 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 Amazon and uh, various other things trying to look up this. There's got to be like this amazing herb somewhere that no one knows of that has no medical side effects and uh, is kind of like this magic bullet thing. And then spend twenty hours feeling exhausted later after on the internet, you know, or end up buying you know the shopping addiction. I'll buy fifty different herbs today and spend a, a grand on herbs and hope one of them works as popping pills all day long. So when when does when is the line, where do you draw the line? Well, I think um, this is just m me. Uh, I, I have got nothing against uh, medicines or herbs or thing, but there is a line when it becomes addictive and counterproductive. And there is a line when, when I become so disconnected, I'm choosing stuff which is rubbish uh, because there's no spiritual guidance there. It's more like uh, I'm just gonna try everything and be like an egomaniac which leads to worse health rather than better health. Um, so I, I use a general principle, which is not black and white. There are also some prayer and meditations required, which is in general, if I can rely on spiritual means first, I will, and only resort to medical or herbal means if um, it seems I can't manage with just the spiritual. So I'll give the spiritual a shot first. So that means like, um, it means like uh, going cold turkey with the symptoms. Uh, so it's like, um, yeah, well, I think asthma is a good one. It's like, so the uh, asthma, asthma, you know, there's uh, inhalers and then there's like Vicks vapor rub and there's all kinds of herbs and things you can try with the inhaler. So the first thing when I can't breathe is like, uh, usually for me, it'll be like, uh, I'll try the herbs and the Vicks, and if that doesn't work, I'll try the inhaler. So that's what my ego would say. But then the spiritual aspect, what, I, what I've learned through uh, Dr. Hawkins, is like the great value. And he's got some, um, he's got some Office series um, audios on uh, addiction, alcoholism, pain, and, and, uh, and handling major crisis, which I recommend, of like not using special and magical aids and just going through it going through it cold turkey the feelings the pain um the, the agony or whatever it is and don't use anything and then experiencing tremendous miracles uh, of having gone through it without using any external crutches at all so i think uh definitely i want to try the miracle method first so um and you know th that did happen many years ago in the i'm having some breathing stuff going on now where I just went through asthma attacks without using anything, and eventually they disappeared. You know, I didn't need to keep relying on the asthma inhalers, and, and I haven't used asthma inhalers now for many years. 
So um, they just disappeared. So the miraculous work, I suppose um, at a certain point, if you're praying and meditating, it might be the right thing to do would be to use the inhalers and to use all, everything you can to do it. So my thing is really uh, try the spiritual first for as long as I can. And if it seems like that's not working, I'll just try and last, you know, it's like, okay, the body might die, but I'm still going to carry on and see if it passes. Okay, I'm going to spend a few days and a few months. And it's like, and then it's like, uh, it goes, okay, I mean, I might give up and say, okay, I'll use an inhaler. Uh, so that's the way I do it. So I try and use the spiritual first, and then I'll slowly resort to the, uh, what the Course of Miracles magical or special means from the world to try and aid me. So I don't see there's anything wrong, but I will, um, I'll give God a go first. Um, I mean, God meaning going through it raw without spirit, spirit, uh, magical or any externalized aids and see if I can get through that one. If not, um, then I'll start slowly using all the special magical aids. Uh, a story, oh yeah, I used to share this story. It's a true story. Uh, I thought it was the most miraculous thing to witness. You know, like when I had uh, kidney failure and they gave me the transplant, they gave me a bag, two carrier bags full of 13 medication. You're a transplant patient now. And what I did was from Hawkins, I cancelled my belief in adverse side effects from medication. I popped the pills, but I just cancelled my belief I needed them and that um, uh, and that they had any side effects while well, I kept popping the pills every day, huge bags of pills. And then within two years, I was down to one pill. Over the two years, um, my doctor said, you don't need that medicine any longer, you can stop taking it. And then I'd go back again and say, this medicine, you don't need it, stop taking it. And then he said that many. And then two years later, I went to see my consultant um, at the Royal Free Hospital. And he and I was, I was and he took away, I think, uh, a medication. I was down to one medication. And he said, like, oh, Sabir, I don't know of any other uh, transplant patient who's taking less medicine than you are. And that was through two years of just cancelling my belief in needing anything external. So sometimes, so the lesson there was, if you're going to die, if the doctor says to you, like, you're going to die unless you take this pill, uh, I, I took the pill, but I, I vigorously did the course and cancelled my belief I needed it and cancelled that it had any side effects. And eventually I found the doctor told me you don't need that any longer. So it's like um, um, Hawkins talked about that as well. So he had gout like me. Uh, and gout is where you've got too much uric acid in the blood and you get these uh, arthritic type pains, swollen toes and stuff. And he just uh, cancelled his belief in high uric acid levels. And within a short time, his uric acid levels were normal because he cancelled his belief that he had such a thing as high uric acid levels giving him gout. And uh, his gout attack stopped. So, so you can take the magic, the, you know, you can take gout medication, but also cancel your belief in, in the illness. In, uh, I think the great thing about getting a medical diagnosis or even a psychological diagnosis is that um, you now know what to cancel. I don't believe I've got this psychological or medical diagnosis. I keep cancelling it until it's gone, and then you haven't got it. So that's the, that, 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 that's the great thing. Oh, that's the thing I had that I need to cancel. So that's the good thing about uh, having the label for it.